win. We're given a point, or we're given a line. And I say, here's a point. I want my point to be parallel to my equation, all right? Therefore, if it's going to be parallel, or first of all, I want to find the equation of line, I need to write y equals mx plus b, right? Or pound equals your slope, and b equals your y-intercept, OK? Now, it says I want to find a parallel line. So by you knowing it's a parallel line, we know that parallel lines have the same slope. So if I want to find a line that's parallel to y equals 3x, I say, what is my, what is my slope? You say, well, the slope is 3, right? So my new slope of my parallel line is going to be 3. Now, the biggest mistake that students want to do is they want to say, oh, well, your y-intercept is 4, right? Well, listen, it could be or it could not be. We don't know. The only thing that we know is if, it, if, my, y, if my slope is the same, we know if they're parallel, we know the slopes are the same. But if I say my y-intercept is the same, these equations are exactly the same, right? So what we need to do is we need to check to see if our y-intercepts are the same or not. So instead of just putting a number in for b, let's solve for b. And then what I'm going to do is, it says my new equation has to go through the point 3, 2. Well, remember, every point has an x and a y coordinate. So therefore, I can plug in y in for 2 and 3 in for x. So therefore, what that's saying is my new equation now is going to go through those two points. So I have 2 equals 9 plus b, subtract 9, I get a negative 7 equals b. So therefore, actually guys, my new y-intercept is negative 7. So you can say y equals um, 3x, because that's my slope, minus 7. Anybody have any questions on that? Parallel lines, exactly the same slope. Perpendicular lines, opposite reciprocal. Make sure you plug your point, plug your point in, find your new y-intercept, that's it. Then you know the slope and the y-intercept, and it's done. It's amazing, right?